Do we have the same understanding of God? And there I argued that they are worlds apart, that the concept of God in Islam and Christianity is very, very different. And one of the principal ways in which they are different is that the Muslim concept of God, I believe, is morally defective. It is a morally defective vision of who God is. As the greatest conceivable being, a morally perfect being, God must be all loving. And this is exactly what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that God loves sinners, his love is impartial, it is universal, it is unconditional. And this is a world of difference from the God of the Quran. According to the Quran, God does not love sinners. He does not love unbelievers. He is an enemy to unbelievers. God in the Quran only loves those who first love him. So that his love rises no higher than the sort of love that Jesus said tax collectors and sinners exhibit. They love those who love them. And that's the kind of love that the God of the Quran exhibits. So the Quran assures us of God's love for the God-fearing and the good doers, but he has no love for sinners and unbelievers. The Quran says that God does not love the very people that John 3.16 says God loves so much that he sent his only son to die for them. While we were yet enemies, Christ died for us. So this is a, a huge difference between the God of the Quran and the God of the Bible. The, the heavenly Father revealed by Jesus loves sinners, loves unbelievers, wants them to come to him. His love is universal, impartial, uh, and unconditional love. But the God of the Quran, his love is partial, it is selective, and um, it has to be earned. It is conditional. Only those who earn it will receive it. So this is a vastly different conception of God. So I would agree with those who say that the God of Muhammad is not the God of Jesus Christ. He's not the God of the Bible. These are, it, it, in fact, I would say that the God of the Quran is a defamation of the Heavenly Father revealed by Jesus.